Hi, this is Jerry with I Love RV Life. I'm already getting questions. Jerry, you've had the Montana for a couple weeks. When are you going to start the modifications? Well, they're starting now. We're getting ready to do this. We currently have a king size bed in the Montana and it's just too big. So what are we going to do? We're going to go from a king to a queen. Well, hi, it's Jerry. You know me, I'm not gonna leave anything stock. Joan and I are always doing this. <laughs> no, we're not crazy. We are thinking about things to make our RV travel more convenient. And uh, look, we, you know, we spend weeks and weeks and weeks on end. No, we're not full timers, but look, we're, the way, way it's gonna be this year, we're probably gonna be out seven, eight, maybe even nine months. And we're looking forward to all that travel. We've got an issue. We've got an issue here uh, with our Montana and our bedding. It's too big. It's just too big. Let me show you what we're running into. When we uh, first got our Montana, uh, a couple weeks ago as a matter of fact, uh, the mattress that it came with was about uh, three inches thick, maybe, maybe. Uh, I think it was made out of either plywood or brick. Just kidding. It felt like it and it had some cloth on it. It was horrendous. So when we if you saw the video here, I'll, I'll, I'll put it up here in the top. Uh, if you saw the video when we got the Montana, one of the things that we negotiated was taking out our Brooklyn bedding, which we absolutely love, uh, from the gateway and put it in here. Now here's the issue. Uh, going from a three inch mattress that uh, we had in there to this mattress, which is from here to here is almost 14 inches thick. Uh, has become a, a bit of a challenge. First of all, you can see it's it's bunching up on the sides, and uh, in here it's too tall. Here's here's one of the reasons why it's too tall. If you look here and see the platform that we're on, the platform we had in the gateway was half the size. So when you add this, this is almost a almost two feet tall. This platform and then another 14 inches. Um, it's making it difficult to get Joan in and out of the bed. Uh, she's short. And, um, you know, she almost has to take a running jump. And actually, we're using a stool. Uh, here's the other issue that we don't like. Uh, these, the mattress is just bunched up here on the side. So as we start this modification, you're going to see this was actually set up to be a king or a queen. And the adjustment is going to be minor. It's going to be very simple. Am I going to run the value of the Montana? Absolutely not. Um, it's easily replaced what I'm going to do. So this is going to be very, very simple. Let's get the mattress out of here. Let's get this modification changed. And then we are going to show you a new type of mattress that we're going to be using by Brooklyn Bedding at RVMattress.com. Can't wait to show you this. When we started our bedding project, there was only one mattress that we were going to consider, and that was an RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. And there's a number of reasons for that. We had already owned a Brooklyn Bedding Aurora Hybrid, and it was an incredible mattress. We had it in our previous gateway. Unfortunately for this RV, this Montana, the base is too tall and that mattress was too tall. We also made a decision that we wanted a narrower mattress. The King was just too large for the space. And there were four different types of mattresses that we could choose. The absolute top of the line mattress that we previously had was the Brooklyn Aurora Hybrid. Then you have the Brooklyn Signature Hybrid, Brooklyn Arctic Dreams Hybrid, and then the Brooklyn Wonderless Memory Foam. Each of these four mattresses have different types of construction, different comfort levels, and a different price range. We chose to go with the Brooklyn Signature Hybrid, and there's a couple reasons for that. We needed a mattress that would be 10 to 11 inches in height, and the Brooklyn Signature Hybrid gave us that exact fit that we needed. We also were wanting a queen. And that's something else that's challenging when you start looking at an RV mattress. There's one thing that's standard about RV mattresses. There are no standards. They cover a wide range of sizes. And this chart shows you every variation that I think that exists within the RV span for mattresses and Brooklyn bedding covers each one of those. And I find that just absolutely exceptional. As we were looking for a mattress that was going to fit better within the space that we had, height-wise specifically, we knew that 10 to 11 inches in height was about all that Joan could bear due to her height and being able to get up into the bed. And that 
signature hybrid was going to be perfect for what we needed but we also wanted to still have that premium sleep that the brooklyn bedding hybrid offers and this is one of the things that really sold us on this mattress the Brooklyn Bedding Mattress could not be simpler to place inside your RV. It arrives at your destination in a box. Simply take it out of the box and it's in a vacuum sealed plastic. Just take care to remove the plastic from the mattress, unfold it on your bed. I took just a few extra minutes just to be very, very careful removing the plastic from the mattress so that I wouldn't harm it. And then I'm just amazed at how quickly, just literally minutes, the mattress reaches its full size capacity. And on top of that, there is absolutely zero odor to the mattress, no off gassing. It's ready to be made and slept on immediately. Purchasing a RV mattress from Brooklyn Bedding and then placing it inside your camper could not be simpler. Use the link below, rvmattress.com slash I love RV life for a 20% discount in purchasing this mattress, or you can go to the link above and click and it will take you directly to their website. We got the mattress out. It took us just a couple minutes. That uh, Brooklyn Aurora Hybrid is a big, a king size mattress is a big mattress, very heavy duty mattress, very comfortable mattress. But uh, I think when we took it out, um, and we did make a comparison with the original mattress that came with the Montana. We probably miscalculated a little bit taking that mattress from the gateway and bringing it in here. And I'll show you what the difference is that um, we found once we uh, moved the two mattresses out. So here's the platform that the mattress is on. And you'll notice it's actually two sizes. And then there's some spacing that's located here on, on the two sides. Um, when we measured this, uh, this is 67 inches, and what we believe that was in here was something called a California King. Um, and a California King, uh, there's actually, I think, two different size California Kings. And uh, I think the one that we had in here was probably 70 inches, and that makes sense when you see how the other mattress, if you saw earlier in the video, went all the way up against the wall here. That king would have come out to about here that california king um and then this is only this is only 56 or 58 inches now what we are going to be going to is a regular queen and a queen a standard queen is a 60 inches so you know if i was to kind of put if you can see the edge of this tape right here i'll kind of zoom in a bit for you we're only going to be over about an inch and a half here and then I will trim this edge off here and make it fit. Uh, the question you may ask is, well, you and Joan have been used to a king size bed and now you're going to a queen. Uh, are you sure you're going to be comfortable with that? Well, in the RV, I think uh, the answer is definitely yes, because we're not utilizing all the space on that king and here's why. And it really becomes evident uh, when you're in a cold climate. That king, or even if you use an RV king, is gonna come very, very close to this wall. And this metal frame and this side wall, you know, they're only about, you know, something like about that thick. And in the winter, they are cold, cold, cold. So you get a lot of radiation uh, coming off this wall and off this window. And what I, what I find that Joan and I are both doing is probably sleeping about a foot from this wall. Um, so we're not even utilizing the width of the king. So I think a queen is going to be perfect. Uh, we've got this little space right here that we can, you know, set our phones or, um, you know, put something down at night, put a book or our iPad or something like that when we're um, in the bed and we just want to put it over to the side. So I think the queen is going to be fine. I'm not worried about it. All right, we're going to trim this plywood down. This is going to just take us just a minute to pop this off and I get it trimmed down, we're gonna put that mattress in here. All right, we'll start with popping these little struts off here. Uh, that's kind of holding this on. Take those off here real quick. Just a little metal, metal band that holds these on place, no big deal. Try to do this where it doesn't bang on me. Okay. And now nothing more than just popping off two screws off each side of this little hinge. All 
right, let's go trim this real quick. We'll be back in business. Uh, you don't have to use a table saw for something like this. I've had this guy for, gosh, forever. Um, it's, it's been a good one, old craftsman table saw. Uh, you could use a skill saw, a jigsaw. For that matter, you could use a hand saw. But uh, I happen to have this. I'm gonna cut, three, it's, it's three and a half inches I need to cut off. I'm gonna cut three and about three eighths. I just want the wood to go in just very slightly on the edge of the mattress. That way when you walk around, you don't scrape your leg on the plywood. So let's just take just a couple minutes. All right, we got this brought back here and put it in place. No biggie. A couple screws, put it right in the same hole, same place. We'll never know the difference. Let's go get the mattress. Well, we got the mattress in. It really wasn't that heavy. Um, it, I, I will I will caution you if you have any back issues or if you have any mobility issues, you're gonna need some assistance. These are large, they're bulky, and they are a bit heavy. Uh, but I was able to manage it without any, without any trouble. So uh, I've got it in place. Uh, we are going to give it just a little bit of time here to finish expanding. Then I'm gonna go get Joan. We're gonna put some uh, bedding on this and uh, get this thing ready for our next trip. So I'm excited about this new mattress. One of the challenges Joan and I had when we uh, slept on the bed the first night in Tampa at Lazy Days, we had the original mattress that came with the camper, which we referred to as sheets of plywood with a bunch of cloth wrapped around it. It was horrible. But because the base that we have here is a kind of a, a sanded plywood, the mattress has a tendency to slide around. So there's an easy fix for these. Uh, you, I'll try to get this in frame for you. Uh, you can go out on Amazon and buy this. Uh, you can go to any of your uh, big box um, home improvement stores. Um, you, you've seen these uh, in exercise facilities. It's kind of a uh, a rubbery, uh, grabby type finish. And we're gonna put a couple of these up underneath the mattress and it will it will keep that mattress from sliding. And it's so thin, it's only about a quarter of an inch thick that we won't even notice them up underneath the mattress. So we're gonna place them under here real quick and then we're gonna make the bed. Okay, away from the hinge. Go up a little bit further. We're gonna have two more that we're gonna put down at the bottom. There you go. And we'll put that over on top of it. You can see what we're doing. We put two in the back, one in the middle, and these are these actually grab. You can see they won't scoot, and this will uh, this will hold that mattress in place. And you can see it's not going to scoot around when we drive, and it's going to hold things down a little bit better. Yep. But Joan, I think making this is going to be far, far, far simpler than what it was like to make that king. We just didn't have room to maneuver, did we? No, we didn't. We didn't have. Any room at all. We didn't have room to even get out of bed. I know we didn't, did we? Uh -uh. And that's our fault. Um, we just put too big of a mattress in there. It was just too big. Okay. There you go. That's nice. First sheet done. First sheet done. <laughs> you haven't laid on this yet. Yeah, wait till you lay on it. It's incredible. That was the other thing we couldn't do too. We couldn't <laughs> we couldn't get past that space right there. <laughs> I got you. I think we're headed for another pillow purchasing effort here in the near future. One of the things is I heard that Portland Bedding has great sheets and pillows. We'll have to go out there and see what we can buy. Absolutely. There we go. That's that's attractive. So again, these little tweaks, uh, they're simple. One of the things that we do in these changes that we make inside of an RV is we try our best to make the changes modular. What do I mean by that? Well, when we uh, traded the gateway in, 
I took it right back to factory stock. I know you saw a lot of projects that went on over time. Every one of those came out with just a couple screws and uh, we took everything back to stock. So when we took it back to the dealer uh, to trade it in, they looked at it and they thought, oh, these guys, you know, didn't live in it that much. It looks just like it did when it came out of the showroom. Absolutely. And it did, it did. So we're going to follow that same methodology here that if for some reason we ever get rid of the Montana, and if we didn't sell it to an individual that one of these modifications, we could take everything back with just a couple screws and make it back into its original format. So we love doing these types of things. So we've got several projects planned over the next uh, several weeks, and we'll be showing you those on future videos. All right, Joan. Hi. Well, I really thank uh, Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Um, their bedding is incredible and uh, it has really made a huge difference in oh, yeah. us living for months on end inside of our RV and giving us a comfortable night's rest. It really Absolutely. is. You ready to try this thing out? I sure am. Well, let's do that. Oh, and well. we do this because? We love RV life. I do love RV life. What do you think, Jen? This is going to be interesting. The thing before is you couldn't get in it without a stool. No, I couldn't. <laughs> Oh man, this is this is incredible. Oh yeah, and it is comfy. It is. It feels good. And that's a, enough space for the two cats. Oh, we're gonna have kitties with us. Mm -hmm.